Now I'm on my way to Anchorage, Alaska, which is a five hour flight from Las Vegas. Well, I got all my equipment, I got my snowsuit here, and a bunch of food in the back. Now I'm on my way to Anchorage, and then to Dutch Harbor, which is out in the Aleutian Islands. One or nine federal regulations require that you be willing and able to open this exit in the unlikely event of an emergency. You must not also have a condition that can be worsened by performing these functions. Hey Nicole, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, I've been trying to contact you for all these years to try to <laughs> come and see Dutch Harbor. And it finally happened in the middle of winter. Finally. So how long have you been here? I've been here mostly on, but some off for 10 years. 10 years, well, yeah. okay, so that's a long time. Yeah. And how long have I emailed you for? <laughs> Two. Really? <laughs> At least. <laughs> wow. So how big is Dutch Harbor? Um, the actual City, like the city of Unalaska is 4,500 people. Right now, because we're in the middle of fishing season, we'll also have about 10,000 because of the influx of fishermen and fish processors and that sort of thing. Mm, okay. Yeah. So what's the difference between Dutch Harbor and Unalaska? Unalaska is the name of, there's the, there's two islands that make up where we live, and yeah. one of them is Unalaska. The other one is actually called a Macnac Island, which is the one we're driving on right now. Mm, okay. And there's a bridge between them, and then the city is on Alaska, and the harbor is called Dutch Harbor. Oh, okay, got it. But because we're a fishing town, we <laughs> are well, we are known to, as Dutch Harbor. All right. Yeah. They have this pet cemetery in Adak. <laughs> That's awesome. You don't know what year it was built? I, I don't know. Not sure? Okay, I'll check on that later. Alright, good. You can continue. Do you know anything about the water plant? The water plant? Yeah. Is it, um, do they add fluoride to the water? Oh, I don't know. You're not sure? Okay, I'm gonna call them up on Monday. Our Memorial Park, there's another oh, okay. graveyard over here. Yeah, I was wondering what made you interested to move to Dutch Harbor. Oh wow! So um, when I was in school, college, where I was in Missouri okay. at the time, um, I grew up in Idaho, but I had gone to school in Missouri. 
and my mom and my younger sister moved out here when mm. I was in college and I came up here for the first time just to go to my sister's graduation. She was graduating from high school. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I fell in love. I went home and packed my bags and came back a month later. Oh, can we get a picture here real quick? Here's the local Safeway in town, along with the only hotel. This is the Norwegian Rat Saloon. Well, here I am at Dutch Harbor. It's a little windy, but uh, it's winter time. It's February 18, and I'm just taking in the observation of uh, what's what is all this place of all about? All of this is crab cages to catch king crab. So the hotel behind me has no sign. If you're like me, like a tourist, I wouldn't know the name of it. But the reason there's no sign or anything is because there's only one hotel in the whole Dutch Harbor. So there's plenty of bald eagles around here. Anyway, you look at this hotel, you cannot find any sign or significance of what the name is. So I guess I'll have to go inside to take a look and ask them what the name of the hotel is. Hey, Bald Eagle, make some noise again. He likes to squeak sometimes. And there he is. I just want to ask a question. I just came into the gift shop to buy some postcards and whatnot, but uh, I was just curious. How come there's no sign in front of the hotel with the name? That's a good question. No one asked that before? Nobody. You're the first one <laughs> who asked me that. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I noticed that too. Uh, uh, because this is the only hotel. Uh, I guess everybody in the community knew that this is the only hotel, so it's Grand Illusion, it's easy to find. Mm. If someone says, I wanted to go to the hotel, everyone knows. Everybody knows, <laughs> yes, even the uh, tourists, okay. even the cruise ships, they okay. ask. And because this is the only hotel, this is where you checked in. Yeah. And then there's another billeting, I mean, that uh, yeah. hotel, which okay. is, there is no front desk clerk there. Mm. So this is the main oh, okay. uh, lobby. But that one is part of this one? Correct. Oh, okay, got it. There's the only one. All right, yeah. and your name? Helen. Oh, okay. <laughs> How long have you worked here? For three years now. Oh, that's pretty good. And yes. where are you from originally? San Diego. Oh, okay. Yes. So you enjoyed it up here? Oh, I love it here. What made you come to Dutch Harbor? It's the money. Oh, okay. You know, um, I had bills to yeah. pay. So in the past, you know, I recovered and mm. coming here is an opportunity. Oh, okay. And do you just have one job or more jobs? This is one job. Okay, but you like it? I love it here, yes. <laughs> No you, complaint. Mm, okay, cool. All right, well, nice to meet you. I'm nice Jason. Nice to meet you, Jason. Yeah. Helen. <laughs> yes. Nice to meet you. Okay. So I bought this nice yellow hat. It's keeping me warm. And I'm just touring around, trying to get back to the place where I'm staying at, drop off some stuff, and then I'm going to go across the bridge to the other islands on Alaska. Dutch Harbor on Alaska and we got the bay behind me, a lot of snow and I continue dancing around the world.
I'm making my way to the old part of town where I can go find that Orthodox Russian church. footbridge in town headed towards the Russian Orthodox Church just around the corner there's another park I wonder if this is a dangerous animal. Looks like a black fox. The other one just disappeared. Well, here's the famous Russian Orthodox Church that I came here to visit in Dutch Harbor. I'm gonna see if I can go inside and take a peek. Hey little buddy. This fox is so friendly and tame, he's just right next to me. Alright, have a fun. Oh, I met Greg and he said yes, tomorrow they'll have church service from 10 until 11 a.m. for an hour. So he said I can come and join them, so I'm going to possibly return back. You're not allowed to take any photography of any sort inside the church, so that's one of the rules that they have. These fox like to roam around. They're kind of sly. They're wondering what's happening with all these people around them. This is the Dutch Harbor restaurant. I'm gonna go take a look inside now. So I'm here in Dutch Harbor restaurants. The good side. Yeah, the good side of town. The good side of town. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here talking with this guy. What's your name? Mike Davis. Nice to meet you. How long have you been here? Christmas Eve. All right, so you've been here this about time, two months. Christmas Eve, two months. Yeah, okay. Ask me that question again. Where are you staying at? Oh, I'm staying on the other side of town. I'm here now at the Mysterious. Now you're starting to sound like a local. Yeah. That's <laughs> what you want. See you later. Hey, I'll see you next time. Before I leave, I'll so. see you in, uh, in Baja. Maybe I'll come through. Agua Verde. Agua Verde. How many countries have you been to? Only 28. And you've been I have to see only 28 sitting next to you. I used to brag about it. <laughs> and you've been doing this since when? 74. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm lightweight. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Well, maybe I'll get your contact info and then maybe I'll stop by Mexico to see you. Okay. When you're retired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so I look like a newbie with this yellow hat on, huh? Yeah, definitely. Newbie. Cannery worker. Oh, that's what it is. So what do the cannery workers do? They come up here and then what? Uh, well, it depends. Right now, most of your county workers are coming from California, farming areas, because of the drought, they've been broke, jobless for so long. These industries know that, so they'll target those areas, like Stockton and Fresno. Yeah. So they'll go down, they'll send their people down and say, hey, come to Alaska and make all this money. It is a lot of lies. <laughs> It is. It's mostly lies. They don't really tell them what they're getting into, and the money's really the money's not there. But they don't know it's so cold up here. Oh, they know. Oh. They show them a video. <laughs> but when you're young, you're doing it. Oh, so they pick up at twenty-year-olds. You'll see. You'll notice a lot of them. I can tell because I've been around. They've been in jail prison. Uh, they've got the tattoos, they've been in gangs, because it's mostly Mexican Filipino. Okay. You can tell that their actions, their manners, you know, they're gang related. They've been in trouble, okay. trying to make a change. But once they come up here, they're safe, right? We won't be in trouble. Well, they still get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but they like to buy this? No, that's only you. <laughs> I want to be high visibility. I don't want to get ran over by the trucks. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to head out. Maybe I'll catch one of those foxes. Good luck with that. <laughs> what happens in Petersburg in the summer? Well, the way it used to be. I don't know, because I haven't lived there since 95. Uh, it was. Petersburg, by the way, is a little more but Yeah. But during Canada season, you would lose your bicycle. Everybody <coughs> would lose their bicycle if you didn't lock it up. But you'd get it back at the end of the Canada season. No big deal. Police would round up all the loose bikes and just go down there and pick it up. Ah, so just like that. Just like that. And it was like clockwork every summer. Every summer. So what, Did we learn? No, we didn't learn. What about King Salmon? Yeah, well, King Salmon, I was born to lock my vehicle up. This was a little native village. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't believe it, but I did what they told me. Just be on the safe side. And they didn't take lock your, it up. They didn't take it. Well, no, I wasn't taking the vehicle. It was robbing Whatever oh. was in the vehicle. Oh, like because you can't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. <laughs> so you're gonna get caught if you're actually gonna steal. It wasn't a point of stealing. It was a point of robbing what you had inside. So if those cannery workers get caught stealing. They get kicked out. Uh, they would be fired and flown back to the place of fire. Which happens here on a daily, well, I shouldn't say daily, weekly basis. Uh, weekly basis. <laughs> <laughs>